Hello, thanks for joining us today for another Vertex BD Tips and Tricks video. In this one, we're going to take a look at creating a floor truss with Z hangers. This is really straightforward and easy to do within your Vertex BD software and can be extremely useful in designing and creating projects. Firstly, as you can see, we have an example room created with walls which we have panelized and generated. We have also inserted a truss base floor system from the modeling tab which is not yet panelized or generated. Our next step from here will be creating a blank panel within our floor structure. So we create our panel breaks within our floor structure and then we turn these into one panel by going to floor and generate panels as shown. Once we have completed that, we then go on to creating our Z hanger floor truss structure by navigating to the truss dropdown and selecting the floor truss option. Once that is selected, we will click to select our panel we just created and then select OK. Vertex will then request that we locate our first truss. For this example, we locate it centered to our panel. We next have to select our load bearing walls, so we select each of our walls as shown. Once we've completed that, Vertex will then create our floor trusses based on our selection. And we can then generate the parts for the floor and our truss structure. And once we've completed that, our Z hanger truss structure will be generated as shown. This can be replicated as needed for your project's floor structures you create within Vertex BD. The only other thing to add is when creating our panel drawings for the floor structure, we used a floor truss cassette template. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more helpful tips and tricks videos enabling you to get the most from your Vertex software.